Hello, my name is Atocha Romero. I work at the Medical Oncology Department at Hospital Puerta de Hierro, and I'm gonna be talking about the clinical utility of liquid biopsy for the management of non-small cell lung cancer patients. Circulating tumor DNA genotyping has been shown to be useful for non-invasive biomarker testing. This is very important in lung cancer patients in which have, having access to a solid biopsy is sometimes very difficult. In addition, cDNA NGS profiling can be useful to identify molecular uh, alterations that may arose as a consequence of treatment failure. Moreover, the amount of circulating tumor DNA has been shown to correlate well with tumor bulk, and therefore it can be useful to monitor treatment outcome. More recently, technology with very uh, low limit of detection has been developed, and therefore minimal residual disease assays has been developed um, based on the analysis of ctDNA. In addition, some screening uh, strategies has been developed also based on the uh, liquid biopsy. And this may be very important for non-small cell lung cancer patients. And as lung cancer is a very deadly disease, and the only way to reverse the mortality of lung cancer is by detecting uh, lung cancer at a earlier stage in which cancer can be cured. CTDNA is an adequate uh, approach for the detection of biomarker, and it has been shown by many publications that CTDNA NGS profiling increased the detection of actionable biomarkers in metastatic non-small cell lung cancer. This is very important because <clears throat> we know that uh, biomarker testing in metastatic non-small cell lung cancer increase survival outcomes, and therefore we need to test for all the biomarkers in these patients in order to uh, ensure and provide uh, the, the best uh, treatment uh, to each patient and increase the uh, treatment opportunity for our patients. As I mentioned, the amount of circulating tumor DNA correlates well with tumor bulk, and therefore ctDNA levels uh, has been shown to be of prognostic significance in many scenarios. In the context of the neoadjuvant chemoimmunotherapy, uh, which is a revolution in non-small cell lung cancer treatment, baseline ctDNA level has been shown to correlate well with survival outcomes, and indeed it significantly added uh, prognostic information to the clinical stage. In addition, measuring minimal residual disease by means of ctDNA levels has been shown to be uh, useful in and, and feasible in several cancer ctDNA profiling uh, during the adjuvant treatment uh, can significantly distinguish patients with good and bad outcomes and can anticipate uh, the diagnosis of disease relapse. This may be very important because uh, it can help uh, the clinician to plan future uh, or subsequent treatment strategies. So the take home message are the following. Liquid biopsy uh, is a non-invasive uh, way for biomarker testing and has a short turnaround time than tissue testing. Uh, liquid biopsy increases the detection of actionable mutations and can support treatment guidance in non-small cell lung cancer. CTDNA levels correlate uh, with survival outcomes and they are of prognostic significance. And liquid biopsy can potentially recapitulate uh, the molecular information of different tumor lesions. Um, and it may be less affected by tumor heterogeneity compared with solid biopsies. Thank you very much for your attention.